Here's an update to my flip clock design. Got new software to show off, and I've also made a base. This particular one's made out of redwood that's got an oil on it. You can see the uh, LEDs lighting up the uh, coils a little better with this view, this close-up view. I've done some work with the buttons. This first button here changes the hours, just like before. The second button over here changes the minutes, just like before. A little bit faster though. This button back here changes it from 12 hour mode to 24 hour mode, and then back. It shows you the actual hours right on it, what it's gonna be setting it to. Show this button here on the end. This is the brightness. Right now it's brightness four, low, off, and an auto mode. So cover up the light sensor and it gets a little dimmer. Open it up and it gets a little brighter. Also goes to high setting, two, three, four, and so on. I'm gonna set it back to a setting of three. And the next button here shows the, the color mode. This one here is a random color. So every few seconds, it changes to a different color. Yellow, pink, looks like, uh, light blue, or that's a purple. The next one is a cycle. It actually cycles through the colors of the rainbow very slowly, um, very subtle. Um, every time you look at the clock, every few minutes, it's a different color. Change is the next one, and this one, and every minute it changes to a different color. So it's constant for the whole minute, but when the next minute comes, it goes to another color. Like I just went to red there. Next one's always blue, always red, always yellow, always light blue, always green, always purple, always orange, always pink, and always white. I kind of like the cycles, my kind of my favorite one. Another thing I've added is a method to uh, exercise this last digit and provide a um, kind of a chime by allowing the clock to make a lot of noise. So if I go up to the 58th, actually I'll take this back, 59th minute. And that's it for this video.